Athens officials want to ban all ATVs and recreational vehicles from being on city streets. That issue has been the center of debate at this week's City Council Transportation Committee meeting. Some council members are concerned about accidents, drunk driving, and distracted driving, while others don't think it's such a bad idea. Supporters say utilizing such vehicles could help alleviate some of the vehicle congestion and parking issues in the city. And an update on a story we brought you on Monday. Alleged drug dealer William Sidney Marshall is being held on a $1 million bond after pleading innocent to charges. Ohio's 94th district seat is up for grabs. Last night, Jay Edwards and Sarah Grace faced off in the first debate for the seat. The candidates agreed on a majority of topics, both expressing their desires for bipartisanship and cooperation in Columbus. The town hall debate forum was held at Ohio University's Walter Hall. The seat is currently held by Debbie Phillips. Alleged serial killer Sean Great says he can't remember the name of his first victim. According to the Marion County Sheriff, Great thinks the woman's name was Diane or Dana, but is unsure. Great is linked to the slayings of at least four women. He has pleaded not guilty to initial charges in Ashland. Police say an Ohio woman lied about being attacked by a knife-wielding person dressed as a clown because she was late for work. 18-year-old Alexandra Conley was charged with making a false alarm after investigators found inconsistencies in her story. The incident occurred in the Cincinnati suburb of Reading. Officials say the reported attack was not related to one last week that closed Reading schools. Ohio is always a deciding factor in elections, and this year is no different. Ohio Republican Chairman Matt Borges spoke to Trump earlier to give him some advice on winning the state. Jumping off a bridge sounds a little crazy, but not to several people in West Virginia this past weekend. Some base jumpers plunged off a nearly 900-foot bridge at the New River Gorge Saturday just for fun. Shares of Southwest Airlines went into a tailspin this morning, falling 11 percent. Southwest attributes the loss to lower-than-expected sales due to declining ticket prices, while overall revenue was down only slightly. It fell short of forecast, and things are expected to get worse before they get better. Southwest says fares will decline by another 4 to 5 percent in the fourth quarter. Hillary Clinton is campaigning in Ohio today. She urged young people at Kent State University to vote and also held a rally along the Ohio River in Cincinnati. President Barack Obama is coming back to Ohio tomorrow to lead a Get Out the Vote rally in Columbus. A former Ohio trooper is facing rape charges. Adam Foster has been indicted on two counts of rape. Foster used to serve at the Swanton Post of the Ohio State Highway Patrol. He's accused of raping a female trooper. And on Wall Street today, U.S. stocks fluctuated as a drop in oil prices and election uncertainty weighed on the minds of investors. Here's a look at stocks of local interest. Hawking College received one of nine grants given out to Ohio colleges in an effort to change campus climate when it comes to sexual assault. President Dr. Betty Young announced a $15,000 grant from the Ohio Department of Higher Education. According to the president, the college plans to use the funds to grow the Title IX program. The forum features David Wilhelm and Dr. Richard Vedder speaking on behalf of Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Wilhelm grew up in Athens and served as the campaign manager for Bill Clinton in his 1992 presidential campaign. And tonight, he will speak for Hillary Clinton. His counterpart, Vedder, is a distinguished professor emeritus of economics at OU. A former Ohio trooper is being charged in Washington County with finding or keeping personal information obtained from a law enforcement database without authorization. William L. Schlager had information on about 10 women and was already accused of stalking a subordinate's wife. He is also currently facing a number of charges in Delaware County. With 2017 a little more than two months away, Athens has begun work for next year's budget. Tonight, City Council will receive an early presentation regarding the city's budget for 2017. Nine local counties are getting nearly three quarters of a million dollars to fight underage drinking and the misuse of prescription drugs. Ohio's Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services says each county will be awarded $80,000. The Syrian army is making gains against rebel forces in southwestern Aleppo. The army says they have retaken parts of the military college there. Syria's state-run news agency, Sana, also reports the heavy losses against the rebels, citing military sources who claim most of the defeated rebels belong to Jabatal Nesera. This comes one day after the end of a brief ceasefire that lasted several days. Residents reported that airstrikes resumed in the city very quickly after the truce came to an end. It's estimated that 275,000 residents are still in the besieged area. The Ohio Health Nelsonville Health Center officially opened to patients this morning. Before today's opening, the new facility held an open house this past Saturday. The open house featured self-guided tours, cooking demonstrations, and activities for kids. 